Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Simulation Soccer League. This is the beginning of season number 10. The season will mark the end of the first decades of the league's existence, and the rest of the uh, rest of the decade has been incredible so far, and this season is not going to disappoint the expectations that have been put on it. Today we are in the Founders Shield. We have Hollywood FC and Buenos Aires. Hollywood winning the league last year, taking uh, taking Division One on the final match day. As a matter of fact, Buenos Aires defeating Paris in the Cup final not too long afterwards. These two teams, not a whole lot of moves have been made by either squad so far. Of course, there's always more moves that can be made pretty much at any point. With uh, Hollywood, their only move was to send three of their players out on loan, and I believe a few down to the academy as well. For Buenos Aires, they did make a move that I don't remember off the top of my head. I'm looking for it right now. They brought in a striker. Um... They brought in Paul Penshaw from Montreal over the offseason, trading uh, several picks and a couple of players to do so. Two players to look for in today's match are going to be Franco Torres, who led Division One in goals last season with 15 of them, against Elmas the Heretic, Hollywood's keeper, who led the league in clean sheets last season with eight. Also worth noting that Torres was voted the league's MVP by the awards committee, and that in the same vein, Buenos Aires managers were voted the managers of the year for the second consecutive season. As we see here, a uh, uh, offset, I think, offset 4-3-3 from Hollywood and a 4-3-3 from Buenos Aires, two slightly different formations, but about the same purpose. as we look to kick off here. Buenos started with the ball, it looked like nothing happened there at the very beginning, and now Torres has stolen it from Gerard. And then we'll, Buenos will look to build something out of the back. I'm Otali, passes forward to Edmund Vandersloff, has an opening, shoots, and the Heretic makes the save. I don't think Vandersloff pointed that quite in the direction he wanted to, but caught up to the ball a hair late. And the corner doesn't go anywhere, but it doesn't hit anybody either, and Buenos will have a good opportunity to recycle. Oh, off the post from Gorka from distance. That was incredible shot, just about six inches too high. Now Hollywood, that's a good through ball for Tiki Taka, but it's a bit too far, and Oakdown will pick it up. Rolls it out to Guevara. On the other flank to Adam Knight now. Knight will dribble up the side. Valor and Gerard both there defending. That is a cross put in, headed out by Costanza. Now Liang Kwai up the side, through ball for Taka. Great tackle by of Katarina. That will save, well, certainly an excellent shot. Very well may have saved the goal there. Gerard's corner is headed out by Guevara. Now Brux Patron on the wing to Jeeves. Jeeves, tempted cross is headed out. Attempting the same thing, but Liang Kwai will tackle the ball away. Gorkov picks it up. Gorkov shoots, and it is wide, right, and high. Torres looks to be injured, as we see him standing there on the sideline, and now he runs back on to attack Gerard. Costanza. 
flanked by the strikers. Jero over to Possible, forward to Kwai, to Lightning, to Taka, Taka forward to Maradona, and not a very good shot opportunity there. Well worked to get the ball to Nagatoro Maradona, but the central defenders closed in quickly and left a very narrow opening. Knight on the throw deep in Hollywood territory. Back to Brooks Patron. Tonight, that is a attempted curling cross, but put it out a bit too far in front of where he wanted to, and the heretic will hold. Clears it out, but Buenos recovers, and they want to attack straight away. G's forward for Andrew Sloth. That's a great through ball and a great save by Elvis the Heretic. Excellently placed through ball there to Vander Sloth and the Heretic fingertips save. And now Taka on the opposite end. Gerard crosses to Maradona. Back to Possible. Possible bounces it off of S. Jeeves. That'll be a corner for Hollywood. Puts it in, headed out by Guevara, but he will recover, or excuse me, Gerard will recover his own uh, corner. And Valor attempted a pass for Taka that hit a Buenos Aires defender, and now Buenos Aires up the far wing to the line. Jeeves cross, headed out by Costanza. Torres was covered heavily there. Not a lot of opportunity. Ten Shaw through to Torres. Torres shoots and that's in. Beats the Heretic in his near post. And I, hmm, the Heretic probably should have had that one, but a beautifully played ball from Penshaw to Torres. Split the smallest gap. Tali to Brush Patron. Vandersloth over to Penshaw. And just a small gap there. Torres, great anticipation to see that coming off of Penshaw. And Buenos Aires will take a 1 0 lead in the 33rd minute here. Perfectly timed. Oh, here's a through ball for Tiki Taka. Oak down got to it just before the foot of Taka could connect. That shuts down a potentially immediate response from Hollywood. Certainly not the last we we'll see of it. Oh, poor turnover by Valor. Attempted pass for Levert. Tali picked it up. It was then dispossessed, and Hollywood does not come out with any further damage from that mistake. Oh, it's another goal for Torres. He's got two now. I didn't even see what happened there. Let's take a look. Jeeves on the throw, very near to the corner. Got it to Brex Patron to Gorkuff. And then Gorkov to Torres. That is beautiful by Franco to Torres. The cross in directly to Torres' foot. Bounces it off of his inside uh, sole. And just redirects it into the corner. Two for Torres. Goal scoring leader for D1 last season. Looks like he will be moving towards that again. And wanting to pick up a second consecutive MVP to boot. Of course this is not division play as yet. But. Hollywood are considered one of the favorites to win the division. Although this season there's so many of them, it's difficult to say what could happen. And there's another opportunity. Penshaw looking for a shot, but Spec Jero gets there first. Another corner for Buenos after the first one is headed out. From the opposite end, Gorkov puts it in, headed out, and Jeeves tackles Taka. I'm a bit surprised that wasn't a foul. Gorkov with another corner, and nothing doing. Oh, misplayed. I think Gorkov, I don't think it was misplayed, actually. I misspoke. I believe that Gorkov was offside. Now, Tiki Taka has a one-on-one -on -one with Oak down, and he scores. Taka is not going to miss that. And the deficit has been cut in half. Flurry of scoring in the final 15 minutes here. 
Valor picked it up, up to Maradona, and what a beautiful pass that is. No question whether or not he's on side, and Taka just gets too close, Oak down freezes, and it's an easy finish past the keeper. 2-1, Buenos, headed into the closing minutes of the half, and there it is. Three shots only for Hollywood so far. That is uh, not something I expected to be saying. Buenos, nine shots, four on target, two have converted. Hollywood with only the one on target, but a good shot it was. And That means that as we go into the second half, it will be an uphill battle for Hollywood, but they have won the championship in Division I so many times in a row now that I don't think this is out of their reach in the slightest. Possible now up the near wing, cross in, that's a bit out of reach. Intended for talk, and Maradona tracks it down. Valor through to Maradona again off the 1-2. And that is a ball that bounces off of Adam Knight. And Gerard will take the corner. Tally clears. And now Oak down from his own line. Buenos does recover. Torres got it to Vandersloth and then an attempted through ball for Penshaw bounced off of Spack Gerald. Taka has an opportunity here. Guevara's on. Oh my goodness, what a shot from Tiki Taka. Two all off of beautiful play there from Tiki Taka. The Heretic just looked like a misheader from both Taka and Guevara. Taka gets a hold of it. No shot there. Turns. I believe that is his weak foot that Taka just rounded the keeper on a curl into the far corner. You don't see a goal like that every day. That was just pure class from Tiki Taka. And it brings us even at 2 all as we speed through the second half. It's Gerard now with the corner. Wanting to put Hollywood up one now. Does not immediately get it. And now Costanza to Lightning. That's a through ball for Taka, who is offside. Kurt Lightning, unless I'm mistaken, is a draftee from this previous draft class, playing for Hollywood as a true rookie. Brednik's Levert is also a sophomore player. Back Jero, the central defender, takes a shot from distance, and Oakdown does have to get up and save it. Now Gerard will need suing corner. That wasn't touched by anybody. Taka picks it up, has proven he's a massive threat, attempts the shot, but Oakdown saves this time. Jero up to possible. There's the through ball. It's for Taka. Taka chases it down. No Hollywood players immediately in the vicinity. Attempts a cross, but of Katarina. Doesn't have much competition getting ahead to it. It's Kurt Lightning for Taka for Liang Kwai off of the deflection and Oakdown saves. Now here's Hun Possible on the wing. Back to Liang Kwai. Kwai forward for Possible. Going to be looking for Taka across the middle or may just do it himself. That shot is blocked by Oakdown. Dribbled over to Knight. They're lucky that Tiki Taka did not have a full head of steam already. The shots have now evened out. Ten shots, five on target for Hollywood. Buenos yet to put a shot on target in the second half. Well, even a shot at the goal in general in the second half so far. There's one. Guevara is over the net with it. And it'll be a goal kick. Hollywood with another takeaway. On the wing to Gerard. Back to Valor, through to Maradona. He's got Taka. Couldn't sink it up when he was on side. Now it's Gorkov. Crossover to Lian Kwai and to Taka again, and it's in. I believe it's an own goal off of Oakdown. It is. 
chaos in front of the net. I think three different shots, and it ends up bouncing in off of Oakdown's backside. Gerard, the Kwai shot, and it's off of the foot of Kosheki Oakdown. Tiki Taka has, I mean, arguably deserves credit for that goal, but off of Oakdown it did last come and directly impacted the flight of the ball. And so an own goal it will be. And now Vandersloff attempted a cross over to Jeeves, who would have had a great opportunity, but now it's the Kwai on the counter, looking to make it 4-2 Hollywood. 79th minute, cross back for possible to the goal, and that is wide and high. Eight minutes plus extra time. All that Buenos Aires has to get another ball in the back of the net. And then we would, I believe we would head to extra time. I may be mistaken on that, but I believe extra time would be in order if it would do end regulation at three all or more. And now it's Vandersloth who shoots and the Heretic does not have to get a finger on it. Just too high from Vandersloth. Final moments waning away. 30 seconds. Penshaw to Gorkov to Brux Patron back to Guevara. Brux Patron up to Penshaw. Penshaw through ball for Vandersloff, but the Heretic will get there first, and that's surely. Surely that will do it. The Heretic just clears it long. Buenos will recover, but with only four seconds, that's going to be the match. And there's the whistle. It's going to be Hollywood taking the shield over Buenos Aires 3-2 after a dominating second-half performance. Five shots on target, ten shots overall in the second half for Buenos Aires, whereas, or excuse me, five shots on target, ten shots overall for Hollywood in the second half. Buenos Aires... Picking up only four shots, one on target. And really, an unfortunate goal it was that causes Hollywood to take home the shield without any extra play today as the shot bounced in off of the foot of Oakdown. But with both of these teams considered strong title favorites in Division One this season, it's an excellent match to start Season 10 of the Simulation Soccer League, and it brings a lot to look forward to. We've seen Tiki Taka and Franco Torres both having great days from their striker positions. Overall, great games from the majority of the rest of the field, other than the 6.0 because of the own goal for uh, Koscheki, what you can do about that. But that has been the Founders' Shield in the Simulation Soccer League, starting off Season 10. Match Day 1 for Division 1 will be tomorrow at, I believe, 3 o'clock Eastern. Could be different depending on the scheduling, but Match Day 1 is upon us very shortly. We look forward to seeing you there. For the rest of the SSL, I have been Laser, and we look forward to commentating the rest of the season.